Philippe Petit, is, uh, this is a, a, a real person, still very much alive and healthy. What was his reaction to the film? Because this is such an intimate portrayal of this great event in his life. What did he think about it? Well, he, he actually invested a lot into this movie. You know, he, in fact, he insisted that he be the one to teach me to walk on the wire. Yeah. And um, not to dodge your question, he ended up really loving the movie. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> but uh, I spent like eight days straight with this guy. And, uh, you know, not everyone who's good at doing something is also good at teaching that thing. Right. So I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Um, but it turns out he's a fantastic, fantastic teacher. I don't even understand how someone can teach you. It's one of those things where I think you either know how to do it or you don't. Because standing on a, a, a little tiny wire like that and being able to walk, I don't know how you would do it the first time. Yeah. I, mean, I, I wouldn't last one second on a wire. So actually, on, on the second day, we did a thing that's called the baptism of the wire, which is kind of an old ritual in wire walking, right? Where uh, the wire walker takes someone out of the audience who doesn't know how to do it and puts them up on the wire. And, and the person who doesn't know how to do it leans on the shoulders and walks behind the wire walker. And unless they're a total spaz, they can do it because the wire walker is so good at keeping their balance. So right. he wanted to do this with me. He put me up on a, on a high wire, not as high as 1,300 feet in the air like the World Trade Center, but it was, you know, it was six feet off the ground, which was high enough. Right. Um, you can still get seriously hurt if you fall six feet. Yes, and in fact, that's why I had a safety harness on. <laughs> because of insurance reasons, you know, doing a movie like this. Well, we did the first crossing. But after we did that first crossing, he started telling me, oh, this is sort of emblematic of how Philippe is. He's like, so, um, so it's very curious now how they, how they have different uh, technologies with uh, the safety harnesses, you know. For example, you're wearing a, uh, an old-fashioned safety harness, but I have a new one here. And he goes like this. He says, look at this safety harness. It's almost invisible. They make this new kind of safety harness technology in Russia. Of course, there's nothing there at all. He's right. just fooling, right? <laughs> right. He's like, so I, I'm, I would ask you, if we do another crossing, would you like to wear this safety harness or would you like to wear this one? And I'm like, uh, I'll, I'll wear the, the invisible one, sure. That so, would not be my answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he, he kind of cornered me, right? So sure. he, he takes off my safety harness, and then he goes about actually like doing a bit where he mimes this fake safety harness and like pretends to put it on me. Right. And he's like, okay, now let's do another crossing. I'm like, okay. So then we did another crossing where I really didn't have the safety harness on. And this, is the, this is the kind of teacher he is. He wanted me to really feel at least a hint of the fear of what it's like to be up there without any safety measures. Right. And uh, it sounds like he's the guy who also invented emissions tests for Volkswagen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? Perfect. It's perfect now. No one will know. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe to see even more great Conan clips. You may now return to your pirated movies and creepy Japanese pornography.